Hello folks, it's Nana G all five four Janet. Hello. It's early in the morning and um uh I figured I'd come and uh do this video. Um last time I talked to you guys, um uh, I was getting ready to, you know, uh, I was selling some things and um and uh but then we had to get ready and go on our trip. Um and so we left, uh, we spent a couple of days for our anniversary in the RV on the water in Flagler Beach, which was really nice, parked right on the water. And what you're looking at is a vintage Christmas haul that I'm gonna show you. Um, and then, uh, well, I'll just pick some of these up and show them to you while I'm talking because this is a, um, this is a haul I got um, I'm looking for, I'm still selling things, but um, the granddaughter that lost her horse, um, she's turning 16. She's the youngest of the mystery guests. If any of you uh, remember my uh, videos with my granddaughters as mystery guests, she's the youngest. And they, you know, I have two of them uh, that are the same age, but um, this is the very youngest, and she's turning 16. So there's no more little girls, little ones in my family. They're all teenagers now. So she wants a pirate party. She said she wanted a pirate party before this happened. So I, by George, I'm going to give her a pirate party. So I went out to buy. I want to make pirate outfits. I don't want to go buy pirate outfits. So I'm going to thrift stores. While I was out of town, that's what I was doing too, putting together pirate outfits. So, um, and while I was out looking for pirate outfits, um, these are from, not out of town, these are from here. Uh, I went to find some more things because I've got to outfit a bunch of kids for pirates. And um, this huge container of, um, of Christmas ornaments, a lot of them were plastic. But it was one of those big Sterilite, uh, huge containers. And I could see through it. It was wrapped in cellophane. But um, I could see that there were at least you know, like six vintage ornaments that I wanted. And they wanted $9.99 for the container. And I thought, well, for six antique ornaments, I'll pay $10. Well, I was lucky because there was a whole bunch of vintage ones in the bottom. So this was well worth it. Okay, so I'm going to show you while I tell you what, what we did. And then I'm going to show you this. That's my best ornament right there. This is Petunia. Dee, 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 dee. Good morning. Good morning, Petunia. Good morning. You're so cute. She's got to go to the groomers. Anyway, um, get down, baby. Get down. Um, where was I? Oh, so we, we camped right on the water. It was beautiful for a couple of days. And then we left and we headed towards um, uh, South Carolina where um, my, uh, my daughter with, um, with uh, my three grandkids and her husband live. And okay, so these are Bradford and they're plastic and they're hard to find and they're vintage, they're from the 50s. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Hey, listen, I might sell some of these ornaments if you guys are interested. So if anybody's interested in a lot of vintage ornaments, let me know, all right? Um, so then I got this little this little lamb, or not lamb, doggone it, it's early. Uh, hello, mom and daddy, that's mom and dad's clock. This little deer, it's flocked, it's vintage, and I can't read what it says on the bottom. It says something, I'll have to get a magnifying glass and read it. Isn't it adorable? So that was in the, all of this was in that box. And there were some broken, of course, because they don't know how to pack things. Um, okay, I don't know where to start. I'll start with this one. This one here. And I think like these lids are like from Poland. Petunia's pushing her dish around. I can hear her. Not yet. It's too early. This is... What's it say? Made in the USA. <laughs> Look how old that is, isn't that pretty? 
Um, I love these. And these are in pretty good shape, so whoever had them. The, this one does not say, oh, I know why. This one doesn't say shiny bright because um, uh, it was missing its cap, but, but the there was a broken uh, ornament, so I took the cap off and put it on here. Okay, so this one does say, let me see. She's trying to get my attention. She wants to eat. Maeve? Nope. Shiny bright. Oh, oh, this is a Chinese lantern. I, I think I might have one of these. Isn't that cool? The Chinese lantern. Ah, uh, this one here. Oh, it's uh, so pretty. So anyway, so then we headed to uh, South Carolina and the granddaughters wanted to go. They're big into volleyball. They play club volleyball and school volleyball and volleyball, volleyball. So um, this one says something, but I can't read it. Um, so they wanted to go watch um, the uh, uh, Georgia Tech versus uh, the Carolina, um, what are they called? Anyway, uh, college, college uh, volleyball. So, ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Um, so, you know, they want, they, you know, ask their grandfather, you know, can we go? You know, it would be fun. And of course, grandpa said yes. So we went. And we met some people, you know, shook hands, yada, yada, yada. The next day, two days later, my husband starts sniffling and he asked me for uh, Tylenol. Look at that. That's beautiful. Sorry for the glare, but man, that's pretty. Um, so I give him the Tylenol. And... He's getting worse. So the next day, I start having like itchy ears and well, fast forward another day and my husband, my husband, when he gets sick, his, his whole family, when they get, when they catch a cold, it goes straight to their lungs. So, um, we had to get on it fast. So, um, uh, my daughter said, mom, you know, uh, I have a bunch of the China virus tests and um, do you want one for daddy and I said sure let me you know let me do daddy because oh look at that that matches the other one oh that's gorgeous that's old man um so I said okay so we tested him and doggone it don't you know he was positive so my daughter had a bunch of those tests and so she said mom you should test too so I tested and I was negative, same day. That's pretty Merry Christmas, that's old. And so I was negative. So I called my doctor and uh, his, his doctor's mind, oh, these are replicas. This is not that old, this is a replica. So I'll put it over here. This is a replica also, but it's really pretty. I couldn't, I couldn't you know, toss it back in the box. Um, so she said, okay, I want you to go. She told my husband, um, this is a replica also. I, uh, and this is the last replica, I believe. Yeah, this is a replica. You could tell by the, the lids. Um, she said, I want you to go find it where you can get the monoclonal antibodies. So my daughter, you know, she got on the computer and found, oh no, this is broken. Oh, crap. Well, I'm thankful for the rest. This, I don't know how, I don't think this is old, but it's very pretty. So I kept that. And so um, it was an hour and like his back hurt, his ears hurt. He was just not feeling good. Um, and um, so it was about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes away was the closest one. So, um, so we went, I went with him and he got the treatment and, um, 
by, let me tell you something. If you catch it early enough, because you, you have to catch it like within the first few days. Um, oh, look at this with a, with a carriage. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love it. Um, it's magic. So, um, he, um, he got the treatment and, um, and uh, the next day I was feeling really bad. My back hurt, you know, I had like a headache. I was, I was just, I was sick. And I knew, I knew when I tested that I was positive, but it turned out negative, but they won't give it to you unless you're positive. Even if you're with someone and you feel the symptoms. So I, um, told my husband, I, it was raining. Oh, it was pouring down rain and they're in the country. It was just a nasty, nasty day. So I took Tylenol. I took flu medicine and I told my husband tomorrow morning I'll test. And if I'm positive, you're going to have to drive me over there an hour and a half away or hour and 15 minutes away. So that's what we did. And I, of course I tested positive. So then I had to go get the treatment. I got the treatment and I'm telling you that the next day I was better. So then we came, we turned around and we gave ourselves an extra two days and then we uh, turned around and came home and then we quarantined. So I haven't been doing anything. I haven't been touching anything. Um, I haven't, like I just went out um, day before yesterday <clears throat> was the last, uh, was the first time I went out. I went and got groceries and I went to the thrift store to get pirate stuff. While I was out, I did get more pirate stuff. If y'all want to see the things I've been putting together for pirate outfits, let me know. This was another little box of ornaments that I got while I was out. They're modern. They're not old. But they're to craft with. So, God bless you guys. I hope this video goes up. It's 12 minutes. I talked for a long time. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.